Today on the Stay at Home Chef, I'm making flank steak fajitas. Flank steak is the perfect meat to use for fajitas. It soaks up flavor, it doesn't have a lot of gristle, and it cooks in just minutes. The most important thing to know about flank steak is that how you cut it makes all the difference. If you take a look at a flank steak, it has clear lines running through it. This is called the grain of the meat. This provides a natural breaking point. So when you cut it, you want to cut against the grain like this. You don't want to go parallel with the grain. You want to cut against the grain. This provides a natural breaking point in the meat, making it so that it's nice and tender. and It's not hard to chew. So I'm just going to slice this up. Alternately, you can leave it whole and cook it in one piece, but I'm just going to cut it in pieces for today. Once you've got all the meat sliced up, transfer it over to a bowl because we're going to make a little marinade. Two tablespoons of olive oil, the juice from two limes, a teaspoon each of cumin, chili powder, and onion powder, as well as a half teaspoon of salt, a tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce, and a clove of crushed garlic. And then just mix this all together. Cover this with a little plastic wrap and then let it marinate in the fridge for 30 minutes while you get your vegetables ready. Slice up an onion, three bell peppers, and eight ounces of mushrooms. Get a large heavy skillet heating over medium high heat. Pour in two tablespoons of olive oil and let that heat for a minute. And then add in all of your vegetables. It's really gonna fill up the pan for now, but they will cook down and fit a lot nicer. Stir them around a bit and we're gonna let them saute for about seven minutes. Next, add in a teaspoon each of chili powder, cumin and red pepper flakes, and a half teaspoon of salt. Then let that cook for just a minute. Let those spices really release their flavor with the heat. After a minute, just transfer all of these vegetables to a bowl, but keep the pan hot because we're gonna use it to cook our meat. Next, take that marinated meat and dump it right in. This will cook fairly quickly. You're basically looking for the meat to be browned on all the sides for medium rare. If you like yours cooked a little more, just cook it for a few minutes longer, but this cooks super fast. Then just add back in all of the vegetables and give it a quick toss. I love, love, love fajitas. Put a little fresh cilantro on there, some sour cream, and it is heavenly. For the full written recipe, visit my website, www.thestayathomechef.com. If you like this video, give it a quick thumbs up to let me know and subscribe to my channel for more awesome recipes. See you later. Mm. I love this.